Hey, it's Stephen Eves with Beach Neon in Murray, South Carolina. We're working on our little neon project, Love You 3000. So we're gonna try to finish it up today and get it pumped. And y'all can watch me as I finish it up by putting on the electrodes. One of the things we use when we're bending neon is some type of an item to mark the glass what we want to heat up. Because you don't want to heat up everything at one time. So I'm going to heat up starting about there, and then we come over here and I'm going to heat it up there. So on the paper, I'm only heating up this much area. And then we'll come back and do this one after the fact. So right now we're just going to build, bend this one little section. Right in there. Use a little press block. And after this cools, we can go on to the next bin. And at the end of every neon unit, you have these little uh, metal shields which help the electricity disperse through the glass. So you have to put one on each end. So let's do that. On the other end, I'm using one that's not tubulated, so we're going to be using an electrode holder so I don't burn my fingers. Now that we have our electrodes on, down to three pieces. I'm going to put all three pieces together and then we'll take it over to the manifold and get it ready to fill with neon gas. And remember, all these little jumpers will paint um, after we're finished, so you won't even see those. There's our Love You 3000. I'm gonna put a little tubulation on here so we can hook it up to the manifold. The next thing we're gonna do is get the unit ready to be filled. The first thing you have to do is heat the unit um, up to over 500 degrees to get all the impurities out. So what we got over here is a manifold with two gases hooked up. Let's show you those. We have one filled with neon, one filled with argon. Of course you can it. So that's got the argon blue gas in there. That's got the neon gas in there. But before we get to the putting the gas in, we're going to hook it up to the manifold. And on a unit this large, when you've got things close together, this is mica. This is actually how it comes out of the ground. We put a piece of mica between any place where the glass is close so the electricity doesn't jump. And then you get a hole in your tube. And we hook it up. Like I said, we're going to slowly heat this to over 500 degrees and put the vacuum on it to take all the impurities out because you have to have a clean tube before you fill it. So let's do that. And 
you should see different colors in the tube. That'll be oxygen, uh, dirt, dust, whatever. And we'll start heating that up. Heat some, put more vacuum on it. see as the unit gets cleaner and cleaner it gets wider and wider that's actually the color of lightning in a bottle so if I left the high voltage electricity going too long it would actually melt the glass you see the electrodes will start heating up on each end you want to get those a nice red because the electrodes had been covered with a coating and you want to burn that coating off And that's it. We're going to let that cool back down to room temperature. It takes about five to seven minutes, and then we'll put the neon gas in it. The unit's cooled down to room temperature, and the reason we do that is so that when we fill the gas, our pressure is correct. Uh, we're going to do a quick test. The fact that it didn't flash any means we've got a clean tube. Turn off the vacuum. Engage our little meter. Do a quick test. We're ready to take it off. And again, because it's under a vacuum, all we have to do is heat it, and it will pinch itself off. And we're ready to go burn in. But first we need to take all of our mica out. And let's take it over here, next to the hearts that it goes with. The color will be a little bit off usually to start, but it takes about an hour, hour and a half to burn in good. It starts off a little milky, and within an hour, it'll be a bright red, like your vacancies and open signs. And those are our two units for the, the sign that we're going to make. In my next video, I'll show you the mounting process and how you put a transformer on and have a finished sign. And then we're going to auction this sign off as a fundraiser for a nonprofit dance school that's here in town and help them as they're getting ready to try to build a building and move to a new location. So thanks for following along.